surprise for you today, kids. We're we'll buying the seaside today. And specifically, we are by Seven Sisters. I am so excited to be here, kids. Are you excited, Sarah? Yeah! Yes, we are both excited. And for today's trip, we have something exciting for you, Pat. We're going on a shell hunt to find some lovely shells. And also, once we collect the shells, we will do an experiment with shells and vinegar. So we will see the reaction between those two elements. And then maybe we can see the shell dissolving vinegar. So we excited to test this experiment out with you kids. So let's get to it. But first, let's go collect some shells. Yeah! Yeah! Look how beautiful the seaside is! I love it here, kids. And so far, we found a lot of shells, so let's see if we can find even more shells. finish our shell hunt and now I want to talk to you about the different species of shells and tell you a bit of the characteristics so let me show you the three species of shells we found okay kids so the first one we found was the slipper limpet so can you please show everyone the slipper limpet please wow it's such a beautiful shell show the other side Sarah yeah it looks like this it looks so lovely. I love it. And you, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, it looks lovely. We found many of these ones. These are very common shells that you can find at the seaside, kids. And now, the, the shell that we found, it's an oval shape. And it can grow up to 5 centimeters long. With a large opening underneath. 
up to half the length of its body and it's mostly found on the coast of southern Britain and of course the seven sisters is in the southern Britain and it's very commonly found and it's a very beautiful shell too and now the next one we found was the dog whelk show everyone the dog whelk Sarah wow these as well were very common and they look very pretty too the different colors this one is kind of black and the other ones are oranges and white so they're very beautiful colors too and it also it can be as large as six six centimeters long in green yellow or gray color and it's also commonly found on rocky coasts where it feeds on mussels and barnacles so these are marine creatures and of course this is a very rocky beach so it's very common to find these types of shells kids the next one is the fat flat Periwinkle. Can you show us, uh, Sarah, the flat periwinkle? Mm. Nope, next to that. Yes. This one is a very interesting one. Unfortunately, we only found one of these. And uh, since we didn't find many of them, it seems like they're kind of rare, rare to find. Uh, but they look kind of like fossils, if you can see. They're kind of a very curved shape and they look very interesting. So I really feel interested in finding these ones. But I'm sure we can find them uh, more the next time we uh, go on a shell hunt. So these are very small, varied color, wool shell up to 1.5 centimeters long. They can, uh, the colors from olive green to brown, red and yellow. And they're very commonly found wherever uh, kelp pools occurs. So they can be found anywhere really on beaches. So they're very interesting to find. So, um, uh, so that's all the types of uh, species of shells we found. Unfortunately, there are many, many more that you can find. And hopefully next time we do a video on shells, maybe we can introduce some new different species of shells, kids. So, Sarah, um, now let's do the experiment. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go test it out now, kids. So now we have the experiment. We put vinegar in a cup or a glass. And now all you have to do is just put the shell into the glass. And now the vinegar will start to react with the shell. The shell is mostly made of calcium carbonate and this reacts with the acetic acid which is in the vinegar. Immediately after we put the shell inside, you start to see some bubbles coming off the shell. And this is carbon dioxide that's created by the reaction between the two. Now, for the shell to come off immediately and erode completely, it might take a couple of days, kids. But it's still worth doing because it's interesting to see the reaction between the two substances. So kids, don't seem put off if the shell does not erode after one day. It might take a couple of days for the reaction to uh, be finished. Now, let me talk to you kids about the carbon that's in, that's the gas that's released. The carbon has highly effect on human health and has uh, problems, it may lead to problems such as headaches, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, increased heart rate, and the more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases greenhouse gases, which has a negative effect on our atmosphere. But also, um, the carbon dioxide we use is actually very useful. Carbon dioxide can be used for plants. It can also be used to make um, soft drinks and sparkling water such as Coca-Cola. And it adds this element of fizziness into the drinks. So it's useful for people who like fizzy drinks. So it's good that we have this carbon dioxide useful to us. So now kids, we also keep you updated kids on how the reaction is gonna develop. And we're gonna show you how the show looks after a couple of days. So I'm so excited to see how it looks kids and also kids if you're interested on how shells are formed we also do another video and we do more videos especially on the nature of the seven sisters. Okay kids, so I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing how the show eroded after a couple of days because we said
certainly did. We, we couldn't even wait to see how it eroded. So kids, um, thank you for watching our video. And also kids, on our next video, we will be doing some arts and crafts with shells. So kids, we recommend you to do this uh, experiment at home. Uh, just take some white vinegar specifically and a shell and you'll see how the reaction takes place. So this would be very interesting for your kids to do at home. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe kids and give us a big thumbs up so you can see more of our interesting videos. See you on our next adventure kids. Bye! Bye.